Hey guys, it's Aaron, and today we're gonna take a look at making things look soft. So, softness is a tactile thing, right? It's it's something you have to touch. You have to touch something to rec to realize its softness. You can't taste, hear, or smell softness. You have to touch it. Um, when we talk about things like in a 3D model, we can make things look like they're soft. And we do this by things like adding textures or, or colors to that that maybe reflect less light, indicates that they're not hard. Or when we're talking about geometry, 3D geometry, it's things like rounding off corners. So let's take a look at how to quickly and easily make something look softer than it actually is. All right, so I got a couple of cubes right here. They're not actually cubes, they're boxes. They're not the same size on all sides. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at how to make these corners look a little bit softer. We have a couple options here. Um, I'm also gonna mention maybe some extensions that can help you with this too, but uh, there's one principle in particular, which is using the soften and smooth edges dialog that's gonna help with smoothing geometry. So there's one easy way to make this look soft. So I have these nice crisp 90 degree corners here. Um, and we're going to take a look at how do we go about actually making these three edges look less prominent to make it softer. Uh, I'm going to do this real quick using an arc. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to throw an arc right here. This is going to be an exaggerated example. So we're going to make this nice and big. So here's an arc. I'll push pull that down. There we go. Knock off that corner. Go back into my arc. Put another arc right here on this edge. Like that. Grab this edge this edge and this edge. I'm going to go to tools, go to follow me and click on that. There we go. So now we got these nice soft edges. I could come in here and I could get rid of these extra lines around here to make this look even softer. And uh, got them all. there we go. So there we go. So now obviously very nice, very soft. This is this is big, obviously. I went with this nice, big round corner. Um, but we can do this without adding all of that. The other thing we did do there is if I turn on Show Hidden Geometry, I can see I added a lot to this. So what was originally, what's this? 18 entities is now 582 entities. So you can see this, this looks great, but it added some geometry to our model. Uh, it's also exaggerated. Like I said, this is way out there. If I'm just trying to knock off a corner, I'd probably want to use arcs that are maybe, you know, just a fraction of the size, just a little teeny, cut off the corner, cut off the corner. But you can see it does a lot there. So one of the things you could do, I could do this right now, is I can just grab these three edges right here, and I can tell it to make that soft and smooth. And when I do that, we've got to turn off my hidden, hidden geometry, though. Uh, you can see it gets rid of those lines so it can kind of start to suggest uh, softness. This is a little bit crazy, right? This is, this is actually it looks like it just hid lines. It didn't necessarily soften stuff so much. Um, but there's other things I can do to make that, kind of give that same softness without going through the process of adding a whole bunch of geometry or including, you know, a bunch of extra steps. So one of the things I like to do is I will grab two edges like this, or this could work on all four sides, but we're gonna to try to emulate the same thing here. And I'm gonna offset these yeah, that much, yeah, like a half inch. So we'll do exactly a half inch. I don't know what size this box is, but I'm using a half inch. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna do that on all of these sides. I'm, I'm picking a half inch because I want it to be the same on all three sides. You take that one, two, offset that. 5. Okay, so now we've we've offset all of them. Now I can take this face and I can actually use move to just pull that out. I don't want to go out a full half. Well, I guess I, if I do a half inch there, I'll get. Let's just go. Let's go 0.25. So pull that out. I'm going perpendicular to the face. 0.25. Enter, and then we'll do the same thing here. Pull it this way. 0.25. Enter, and I grab this one. Up, 0.25, enter. And then what I can do is I can grab that geometry right there. And again, go. actually, we can just grab it all. Just grab every bit of that thing and say, 
soften it. So there we go, we got a more realistic soft edge. And right now, if I grab all that, 27 enemies versus 231. Let's we'll turn our hidden geometry and we'll get a true count. 582 entities versus 39 entities. So big difference in the amount and the quantity there. But I'm going to argue that, you know, for a lot of examples, this is probably fine for an architectural model, for a retail model. This is probably more than enough to sell that this is a soft corner. In some cases, like I said, depending on how I'm using this, right? If I'm if I'm zoomed way back like this, well, yeah, they no big difference, no big deal, right? Um, obviously, if if this thing is it's a jewelry box or something like that, and it is the main stage, and they're going to render it and that kind of thing, sure, yeah, go hide detail like this. But if we're looking for efficient modeling and ways to just soften the corners, make it look less pointy, this is more than enough. And again, in some cases, maybe just Softening or hiding, hiding a single corner, hiding an edge is enough. So over here, we have a couple examples. Uh, same thing, very similar. Here I have a couch cushion. So if I look at this couch cushion all by itself, see there, yeah, it looks really nice. If I look at all the geometry in there, it's big, it's heavy. Over here, again, I'm gonna say comparable. You know, from, from where we're looking at it, not a big difference. This piece right here, you can see, I just knocked off one corner. I didn't even do two like I did in the other one. So a fraction of the geometry. So you can actually see it here, right? You can see all the extra edges, all the extra lines versus here, just getting a slight knockdown and then soft and smooth. What's the difference? I mean, like when, when we actually get into it. So two things, there's two things. One is that when you do soften with a whole lot of edges like this, you do get more control over the shadow. So look at, see, as I, as I move my camera around, you can see this shadow, how it follows that curve. It does look better. So if I'm up close, if I'm gonna, you know, I don't know why, but if I was doing a render of the arm of the couch, that makes sense, put it like that. Over here, I have less control. So it turns all white and I, I get, in some cases, some weird overly dark corners, that kind of stuff. I have less control over it. It's less smooth because I have less surfaces that SketchUp is running that light across. When I have something like this, SketchUp knows, okay, light break, light break, light break. At every one of those edges, every one of those hidden breaks, it's going to smooth the light into the next face. Over here, where we have just these two, it goes, okay, light from here smears into here, light from here smears into here, and that's it. So we get a lot less uh, smooth light, like right here. So it just kind of jumps, jumps, because it's smoothing across three surfaces here rather than all of these surfaces here. So you do have a little bit more uh, control over those shadows if you break it up like this. And you're more likely to get uh, you know, hard shadows on soft geometry if you don't do something like that. But you can see, again, depending what you're doing, is it worth coming in and adding all this super heavy geometry for a couch that's gonna sit in the back and I'm gonna see it like this in a render? Probably not. If I'm in here and uh, you know I'm looking at a living room and this is the centerpiece of the living room, okay, yeah, maybe in that case, but uh, it's up to you. It's really, I mean, I'm here to show you options. I'm showing you options. Uh, yeah, high poly, low poly, either way can be smoothed. The, the, Quality of the smoothness is going to depend on how much geometry you want to put in there and uh, how much work you want to put into it. The one of the other things to mention, of course, is this doesn't have to all be done manually. I don't have to do this couch the same way I did this block here with multiple steps. I can use extensions like Fredo Corner or Mindside Studios Bevel, something like that to get a bunch of these smooth corners at the same time. But the fact is, at the end, Depending on the amount of geometry you put in there, you're going to end up with a heavier model, but again, more control over how that light falls across those smooth corners. So, like I said, options. But uh, something to note, that all it takes to go from being a hard 90 degree angle to being what could be a soft geometry is something as simple as softening an edge. Again, if you're taking something like that same sofa we had and it's going to be this big in the corner of your model, you might just not even knock the corners off. You might just selectively soften a few edges just to make the front look like it's soft. Uh, it's up to you, but 
you don't have to go to the point of modeling every single crease in geometry that's in a, in a piece of furniture or something like that. You can get away with just hiding and softening specific faces. I hope that helps. If so, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please do leave us a comment down below. Uh, how do you go about this sort of thing? Or do you have to do this? Do you ever soften anything? Do you have another tip you think would make a good video or do you run into a problem that you'd like us to help you answer? If so, let us know in the comments. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when the source showing. Ooh. I was almost out. It was my last line. We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.